Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. I'm Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. And today I have some very exciting news to share. I am introducing the Frost Blueprint, which is made exclusively for local, our development tool that WP Engine makes for builders. It's freely available. And today I have the pleasure of walking through the Blueprint demo, as well as just how easy it is to install it. Let's get started. Okay, as I mentioned, the Frost Blueprint is designed for local. Local is a tool for developers to create, manage, and experiment with WordPress websites. Its extensive feature set, user-friendly interface, and offline capability make it an indispensable asset. Now, before we get into the Blueprints, I wanna go through a few features of local and why it might be a great tool for you, starting with Local Connect. With Local Connect, you can optimize your development workflow by pushing and pulling sites with your local account to WP Engine or Flywheel for a super streamlined offline editing and go live process. Imagine all of your sites in one place, being able to just send them and bring them back as you wish. Next up, let's talk about live links. Live links allow you to quickly review site responsiveness across devices with secure, persistent URLs. With longer timeouts and connection limits, your clients and coworkers can review work on their own time. Basically, you have a shareable link you can send to your clients and only they can go in and see the progress of the site that you're building for them. Next up, cloud backups. Cloud backups keep your workspace clean and your site file safe with the ability to easily push and pull sites from local to Google Drive or Dropbox. Imagine being able to retrieve your site backups at any time from any computer. Lastly, we have Blueprints. Blueprints are perfect for full-scale site development and quickly setting up isolated test environments for themes, plugins, and WordPress updates. Blueprints help save time and ensure everything runs smoothly. All of this brings us to the Frost Blueprint. What you see here at frostwp.com example is a sample website built using Frost. Frost has several style variations, eight colors in fact, and in this case, we're using the teal style variation, which uh, highlights all of the accents and the site in teal against the black and white contrast of the design. I'll do a little scrolling so you can see this is basically just a brochure style website using the Frost theme and several of the patterns that come with it. It's great for all kinds of agencies or freelancers looking to showcase their work and the stuff that they have done. In addition to having calls to action, in this case, there's a team that they wanna showcase the members of the team and a nice footer in ways to connect. I'll go back to the top and click through a little bit to show different pages. Uh, we have uh, just a simple about page with a picture and some text. Similarly, a page just for services. This can be built out differently using patterns that come with Frost or the block editor. On the event, you have a blog. Here are some sample posts that come with it, all arranged in a nice grid view. If you click on a post, you can see a nicely designed single post format. And the team page, which also uses the same uh, makeup, the construction of the team on the front page which has a corresponding pattern in Frost if you wanted to do it differently or add more members. And of course, the contact page. In this case, we're using Ninja Forms, which is a free WordPress plugin. And so this is all insertable uh, with just one click. If you go to the top of this example blueprint, there's a download link. This takes you to the main Frost website where you are able to download the zip file for the blueprint with instructions on how to install it. So if you click the download link, which I'll do here, you'll see it downloads to my computer. And in the next step, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to replicate that Zemo site onto your local install. Okay, now for the fun part. As I mentioned, installing the demo site in this is very, very simple. It takes a couple clicks and about 30 seconds to set up. Uh, you'll see here I'm inside the local app. I'm gonna click the plus button to add a site. On my desktop, I have the zip file that I downloaded. I literally just drag that onto the app. It's gonna ask you to name the site. We're gonna call this Frostscape Demo. I'm gonna click continue. I want the preferred setup and the import process will do its thing. 
your local machine might ask you to uh, approve this setup, which is simple to do here. Finish that. And in just a second, you'll have the demo site all set. There you go. Uh, in order to log into WP Admin, you can click this button here, type in admin and admin for username and password, all lowercase. Those instructions are on the Frost site. Uh, or you can also click this one-click admin, which allows you to get right in. I'll uh, go ahead and do it this way so you can see what I'm talking about. I am now in, and I will go into the demo site, and you can see that we have installed, uh, just as we had thought, the Frostscape demo site here in its entirety. Now, if you go into the dashboard, you can click on any of the pages, and they're all here for you. Uh, the beauty with WordPress full site editing and the use of the editor to design and build out sites uh, is really tremendous. And so you can see here, you are now able to edit this. Well, let's pretend teal is not your thing. Uh, WordPress has functionality built into block themes now called style variations, and Frost comes with eight of them, which can be used to customize the look of the site. We're talking about all of the colors that you see here. And uh, just a quick walkthrough, uh, if you go into the editor and what you're seeing here is going to be available in WordPress 6.3. Uh, so this UI here, if you click on styles and you see the eight color schemes that are available in Frost, we're using teal. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to change it to purple, you would just change that. And anywhere that purple is used throughout the site, uh, that will be changed if you go ahead and hit save. Similar, you have magenta and orange and red and green. Now, suppose you don't want to use a preset and you're building a site for a client and you want to go ahead and use a custom color. Thankfully, WordPress uh, itself has done a phenomenal job in allowing builders to customize the colors. If you go ahead and click here through to the styles icon in the upper right hand corner, you'll see uh, the color palette right here as I click through. Uh, this is the green because we have that selected. So it pulls up the green colors here. There's really only two in each, the light and the dark. If you wanted to go ahead and reset the colors, this goes back to the default frost blue. Now, if you wanted to edit the colors, you are also able to do that. Uh, for instance, I wanted to change this to any other color. You can just see how easy it is to change the colors scheme. I'm gonna close out of here and just head back over to the patterns part of the site editor. Now, these are all the patterns that come with Frost. And because we had the pink, you'll see that that has come through. Uh, these are just all of the patterns that are available with the Frost theme. Uh, you can see it's the query loop. We've got headers and footers. Uh, so it'd be very easy to swap out header and footer of the site that you're building. And walking through just a few more, we've got pricing tables, page patterns, and so on. Now, the last thing I want to show you is if you've created a site from scratch or you've customized the site that you've built and imported, uh, you can very easily resave the blueprint by going back to the local app and going to the site that you have. In this case, we have Frostscape demo. If you right click that site, you could just say save as blueprint. And so what this does, we'll call it Frostscape demo new, save blueprint. This then takes the changes that you've made and resaves it all as its own fresh blueprint. And as you look into the local app, there's an icon here on the left-hand side called Blueprints. And these are all of the blueprints that you have on your local machine. The first one, Frostscape, is the one that I had built to generate the zip file for here. Uh, and this is the new one. So if you, uh, you can see the uh, creation date and some of the other uh, data around that particular blueprint. So there's a lot more with local that you can use. We've covered some of the features and in some upcoming videos and blog articles on the builder's site for WP Engine, uh, we can go into them. I'll drop some links into the video uh, resources section. And I wanted to just uh, thank you for being a part of this presentation. And I hope that uh, you have the use for Frost, the blueprint and local. And if you have any questions, you can hit us up at wpengine.com builders.